Hey guys, so I am back um, again for like the 50th time, but um, I'm sorry, I keep doing this. I mean, I need to stop, we are here, we are here, but I just keep, I just lose focus sometimes, but I'm back, I'm focused and I'm ready to do this. So um, I, today I showed, I wanted to show you guys how I do my highlight and contour for full-on heavy glam makeup um yeah so this is pretty much yes mm -hmm. this is like full-on a lot of makeup um i have oily skin but i like the dewy finish so that's why i look a little dewy or oily right now um because i just bathed in highlighter but yeah, so if you want to learn how I created this look, then please keep watching. And also the tutorial for this brown smoky eye will be up later or before this. I'm not sure, but either way, um, whenever it's up, I'll put it down in the description bar below. Um, and I'm still not good at intros, but um, I'll get better at them, I promise. But yeah, keep watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share this video. Give me thumbs up and um, stay tuned. Thank you. So I'm going to start off by priming my face with the Becca Ever Matte Perfecting Primer. Um, this primer is really, really good for oily skin. Just make sure you work it in really well. And now I'm going to minimize my pores with the Benefit Professional Primer. Um, this really helps with smoothing out my skin and making it look extra flawless. And now I'm just going to correct my dark circles with the MAC Correct and Conceal Palette. And I think this color is Burnt Coral. So I'm just going to go under my eyes and um, the corners of my lips. And of course, my trusty Beauty Blender. I don't know what I'd do without my Beauty Blender. What was life like before that? And I am trying out this foundation. It is the Lancome Tint Idole foundation in the shade, um, I think it's Suede 530. And I ended up really, really liking it. So I definitely will be going to Macy's to make that purchase because it's life. And this is what the foundation looks like all blended out. It looks really, really good. And I'm just adding a little bit more coverage under my eyes because um, we're going for full on glam, heavy coverage. And this is the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer Concealer in SX13. Now this bad boy, you need just the littlest amount. Even that was too much. That was way too much. But you know, I really had to work it in and blend it out. But that concealer, that small jar will last you a really, really long time. The little, the tiniest amount really, really goes a long way. So as you can see, um, I put on a little bit too much, but you just take your time and make sure you blend it. Of course, this is uh, cut down, so it's not so long, but this is how it looks out looks when it's blended. Just take your time and make sure that you blend it really, really, really well. I went in with the back of the beauty blender, the bottom part, to blend in the foundation part with the highlight. And I like to blend out my nose contour, I'm sorry, my nose highlight with my finger. And now I'm going to go in with my contour shade, which is, um, I like to use the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Concealer in NW58. And I'm just going to apply that to the sides of my cheeks to create some cheekbones because as you can see, I don't really have any. kind of have big cheeks, so puffy cheeks. I'm going around my temple and um, the sides of my nose to slim that bad boy out a little bit. And I like to blend it out with my finger while I'm there. Again, my beauty blender, I don't know what I would do without it. I don't even think I owned, I own a foundation like blending brush. And this is how it looks all blended out with my cream products for contour and highlight and now time to set all of this with some powder and I'm going in with my trusty Sasha buttercup powder 
and I'm using my beauty blender for this and I'm just making sure to press it into my skin so therefore this concealer does not move and you can see a difference already and I'm gonna go in with Mac Studio Fix powder in NW50 and lightly dabbing um, this around my whole face And for bronzer, I'm going to use the Fashion Fair bronzer in the shade Sable, I believe. And I'm just going around the perimeter of my face and under my cheekbones to really help blend out that contour and make everything look real seamless and flawless. And I'm going to contour with Studio Fix Fluid from MAC, not Fluid, Powder, in NW58. And this is with a Morphe brush. I'm not sure what it is, but I'll have it listed below what brush it is I'm using to contour. And this is the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Glow Palette. As you can see, my, the rest of my face is done, but I use all three blushes that's in there, and I absolutely love this palette. And I'm also using a combination of both of the highlighters, Prosecco Pop and Champagne Pop. And the combination of both of those together really, really, really looks great together, um, especially on chocolate skin. And I'm just going to go a little OD with the uh, setting spray. And right when it's about to dry, I go in with a little bit more highlighter. And this one is Topaz by Becca. And this is the finished look. Um super highlighted super contoured full-on glam you know just a regular everyday look just to go to the grocery store you know what I'm saying so um, yeah I hope you guys like this look um, and stay tuned for some more videos don't forget to comment like and subscribe and thank you all for watching